Hey guys, what's up? It's Rachel and welcome back and today we are making some homemade cotton candy. That's right. I bet you didn't know that you could make this stuff at home and as you can see here, it looks just like the carnival. This friend right here is a little bit like tall and long, but I also made one that was so big and so round. It was like the size of my face and then I'll also show you guys how to make some like galaxy ones too that are multicolored and beautiful. But I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet because this guy is melting as I speak. But before we get started, if you are not subscribed to the channel already, then make sure you tap that subscribe button for new videos every single week. And without further ado, let's hop right into it. I was going to like poke more, but I thought this was like I'm flying off the stick. So let's go. To start off, let's grab our cotton candy machine. I got this guy off of Amazon because I buy everything off of Amazon basically. It's great, I like never leave my house. But I got this on Amazon for about 30 bucks, which is a pretty good deal. Now, as you can see here, my centerpiece there is a little bit crooked or kind of a lot crooked. And I thought that was part of the machine, but it turns out it is not supposed to be bent like that. So I eventually actually returned that machine and got a new one, which you'll see later on in the video. Regardless, you'll wanna preheat your machine for about 10 minutes just by flipping it on. And then we're going to add in our cotton candy sugar. I'm starting off with the grape flavored one because the purple is so pretty. And then once you can see those strings start to form, just grab your cotton candy cone and start twirling that up. After doing a lot of experimenting with this, I found that it works best if you twirl it kind of slowly. That way it'll be really fluffy and airy, whereas if you spin it faster, it tends to be really tight and dense. Not exactly what we're looking for. But for the sake of this video, let's speed it up a bit. And now you can see it gets so fluffy and so big. And in case you're wondering, it probably takes about five to 10 minutes to make one cotton candy. But you know what? You're gonna have a great time. This is really fun to do. So just throw on some music and have fun. Also, this is like the largest one that I got. This is like the size of my face when I was talking about in the intro. It's huge, it's fluffy, it's like eating a cloud. And then to make this even prettier, we're going to add some sprinkles on it. I went for some gold sprinkles because I just love gold accessories. So why not accessorize my cotton candy? Hooray! This is so cute and it's fluffy and it's tasty and it's easy to make. So now let's get into something a little bit fancier, a little bit prettier, I might say. We're making the galaxy cotton candy. Let's go. To whip this one up, you're going to start off with purple cotton candy. So just twirl that up until you get a nice solid base there. Then you're gonna pour in some of the blueberry flavor and then start twirling that up as well. While this is going, I did wanna mention a quick tip to you guys. Even though you preheat your machine for about 10 minutes, be patient because after you add in the sugar, it's gonna take another two minutes or so just so that sugar can melt down and become the candy floss. More quick tips later on. But now I'm going to add on my decorations. I went for these silver sprinkles that are actually new at Michael's. They're even finer than sanding sugar, which is perfect for the cotton candy because you want sprinkles that are really light so they stick. It also has a really nice shimmery look, almost like glitter, it's so fine. And then I also added on some colorful stars because they look so pretty. But if you wanna go full out galaxy, you could do gold stars, you could do some gold luster dust. But I went for kind of a playful take on it today. And that is our two-tone cotton candy. This stuff is so pretty, it's so fluffy. And even better, you've got two flavors in there too. Once I finished that up, I decided to try making a cotton candy flower. This video went viral on Facebook and on YouTube too. I'll link it down below. But I thought it was so pretty, so I wanted to try to recreate it. Only problem is that this machine doesn't quite produce enough cotton candy to really get a fluffy flower. I noticed that you really need a whole lot for those petals to stick out. So I had more of like a torpedo, looks kind of like a fish. Maybe not as pretty as the cotton candy flowers, but it was worth a shot. And it still tasted delicious too, so that's all that matters. Also, another quick tip, make sure you scrape down the sides of the machine every once in a while. Otherwise, the fluffy cotton candy tends to pick up those bits on the sides, and you don't want those mixed in with the fluffy cotton candy. But to redeem myself, I decided to just make this a multicolor cotton candy. So I just added some purple around the outside of my fish torpedo. And this came out so pretty. I decorated it with some sprinkles, some more sprinkles. And overall, I love how this came out. It's colorful, it's tasty, and it's fun to eat. This cotton candy machine also claims to work with any kind of hard candy. So I decided to use Jolly Ranchers and just see how that came out. I popped two Jolly Ranchers into the center. And then I just twirled it up, but I found that it got spit out too fast. I think it's because the Jolly Ranchers have a lower melting point than the sugar. So the floss it spits out is really sticky. It doesn't roll up that fluffy. You kind of just end up with a stick of like dense Jolly Rancher cobwebs. It's not really my favorite. 
And then for something even more interesting, how do you feel about cough drop cotton candy? That's right, I genuinely love the Luden's Cherry Cough Drops. This is not sponsored, but every time I was sick when I was younger, I always had these. So the flavor is very nostalgic to me, and you know what? They taste pretty darn good. I actually like the flavor of these. So the next time you're sick and you're feeling very high maintenance, make yourself some cough drop cotton candy. Admittedly, this doesn't work as well as the candy sugar, but it actually worked better than the Jolly Ranchers. I know it doesn't look so hot, but it actually tastes really good, I think. So if you have a favorite flavor of cough drops, then throw them in. It's pretty cool. But that is our at-home cotton candy, guys. It's super easy, tastes just like regular cotton candy. And now let's hop into the outro. All right, guys, our homemade cotton candy is finished now. And I think that this is such a fun idea if you're having like a summer party or something. It's really easy to set up and everybody can make their own cotton candy. But anyways, though, thank you so much for watching. And then also, if you are not subscribed already, then make sure you tap that subscribe button because I post new videos every single week. You can also follow me on social media at Kawaii Sweet Eats. And then check out my Etsy sticker shop right up there where I sell different planner stickers that you can just throw in your agenda to help you stay motivated and organized. And I think that's about it. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you all back here very soon. Bye guys!